First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Makar Kodash, that belongs unto the apostles and elders of GMS that teach us his word, and Shalom unto the hopeful elect upon the four corners of this earth that, that's trying to make it up out of here. So today I want to talk about this this coronavirus vaccine that they're that um that is starting to be made um progress on and there's companies that are trying to uh that that are on a race to come out with a vaccine um for this for this whole co- co- coronavirus deal and these vaccines aren't aren't to be trusted because we don't know what's being put in these vaccines we don't know what they're what they're putting in our systems what they're putting in in our bodies we don't know the full truth about them and a lot of things are hid about these vaccines and with this coronavirus vaccine there's going to be a high population of the public that's going to go ahead and get it there's going to be a high population of the public that's going to get this vaccine but little do they don't know anything about what this vaccine other than what is advertised about it other than what the doctors inform them about it but but they'll hide all the other stuff the most high has herbs and 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 medicines of the earth that he gave us so we can heal ourselves we're supposed to trust in the most high for that but not man that's what the most highest herbs are there for. That's why when we get sick, we, we're supposed to go to natural r- r- remedies and not these medicines by men that are made in labs, that are made behind closed doors. We don't know what are in those. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14 says, Heal me, O Lord Yahweh, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. So we're supposed to go to him for that because he's our, he's our, he's our power. He's the person who's able to, to to heal us, not man. That's not what man is that these 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 doctors and, and and Esau they try to play God. And that's that's not that's not their 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 position. Now doctors are are an important role in health in in, in other aspects, but specifically with these vaccines. We don't know what they're injecting inside of our bodies. We don't know what what's going to be going on with them because we're not informed completely about them. We only get what they decide that they want to tell us because what do we constantly get pushed by doctors? What is it? What is it constantly? When you think of doctors, the first thing you're supposed to think is, you're supposed to trust them. They're supposed to keep you healthy. So whatever the doctor gives you, you're supposed to take that and you're supposed to get better because that's what the doctor's there for, right? That's what's constantly pumped in our minds. That's what we're programmed to think. Therefore, we put our trust in doctors. We put our trust in vaccines because we're like, when we get this vaccine, then we're automatically, we're, we're immune. That's what the vaccine's for, right? That's what the doctors advertise this vaccine for. But people still get this vaccine and people still get sick. It don't add up. It doesn't make sense. Behind closed doors, people, the, these doctors put mercury and, 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 and aluminum in these vaccines. And that's not supposed to be, be in our bodies mixed together. That's a toxin. That, that's, that's an unhealthy combination of chemicals that's in our body that goes to, to, to our head. And that's not healthy for us. That's why that's why we're supposed to get earthly, earthly r- remedies that the Most High provided for us. That's what the doctors did in in the scriptures. They used what the Most High gave them because they didn't have the technology that that's here today to even to even make some type of vaccine that that's being made now. So they had the the remedies and medicines of the most high that were that were from the earth and people were getting better that way when they got sick and it's still all up to the most high if you get healed or not but here like i'll get psalms chapter 118 verse 8 but these these vaccines aren't to, to be trusted 
they don't tell you about the 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 negatives about them. They don't tell you that that they have a a high percentage of not working. That you still have chance to get sick. They inform them. They they inform people that these vaccines are are your getaway, and so people are gonna be rushing in line to get this vaccine and. They don't know what they're about to get pumped inside their system. Why? Because that's what we're we're programmed to to believe in. We're programmed to to go. Oh, I'm getting sick. Oh, something's wrong with me. Let me take myself to 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 this hospital. Let my let me take myself to to a doctor. Now, if you're now now if you like really need to go to the doctor, go to the doctor. That's not what I'm saying. But if you have the flu, if you got a cold. And it's not where you're about to lose your life. It's not, it's not severe like that where you immediately have to go to a doctor. If, if you're sick, there are earthly remedies to get over that sickness that work. That work for, for, for brothers, that brothers give other brothers that know about this information. And they work. They, they heal us because that's the remedies that the Most High made for us. Not these laboratory-made medicines that Esau and that these hospitals are trained to push out. Psalms chapter 118 verse 8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh than to put confidence in man. So we're supposed to trust in the Lord to to heal us. We shouldn't put all our trust in, in man to put us in a better, healthy position. When I started off this lesson, what I say, I said it was a race to to for these companies to put out a vaccine. They're not worried about the public's health, they're worried about which company is going to get credit for quote unquote helping the public. This is a race, so they're trying to rush out a vaccine as fast as they can so that a company can make bank off of it. That's exactly what, what this is being made as. This is a race, it's a race to see who can make this vaccine first. And so, whatever. Whatever these doctors want, want, want to say about it, the public is going to believe it because that's what they're supposed to do. That's what, they're, that's what they've been programmed to do. But you got to like, think harder than that. You got to dig harder than that. You got you to gotta look and say something about this don't add up. You, you got to think. They're putting these toxins inside our body and it's the fallen, the temple that the Most High made for us. Because we are a temple. It's here. I'll get uh, First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. It says, If any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. So it called us a temple. We're a temple. Our bodies are a temple that the Most High made for us. So we aren't supposed to defile our temple with, 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 with these things, such as, such as drugs, such as smoking, such as the, these vaccinations, et, et cetera. These are things that are going to defile our temple. They're going to put negative things that don't benefit us, like these foods with these GMOs and stuff that's that's making people, that's putting they're putting unhealthy things in healthy foods or were supposed to be healthy foods, and it's having negative effects and tolls on our bodies. But the but but it can be advertised. They can show us an apple and say, and say, hey, this is something that you're supposed to eat because it's going to keep you healthy. It's supposed to keep you healthy. But how Esau has been pushing things, how he's been making the world go, he can put GMOs in an apple and make it just as unhealthy as McDonald's. Putting spider DNA in apples, putting wax over an apple. Just like the phrase, like I said, we're programmed to 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 think these things. Like the phrase, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. It's just a phrase, but we keep that in mind. That's a subconscious thing that we think about. We see these fruits and we're like, hey, these are things that we're supposed to eat. Because naturally, we are supposed to eat them. They are healthy foods, but we need to grow them naturally. We need to, because from these stores, they have GMOs in them that Esau's putting out to defile our temple. That's what these va- vaccines are. They're the, def- they're the def- defiling our temple.
we don't know all the information about these vaccines. We can't put our all our trust in these doctors when we don't know the full the full extent of what these vaccines are. All we know is 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 what we're told. All we know is what things are advertised as. But we don't know the full truth about these things. So we you got to you got to you got to look at these things and when and when Esau just puts something on a silver platter to you, don't just immediately grab out to it. You got to look at something and be like examine it, look at it, be like this doesn't add up. Why would Esau Esau of all people, why would he want to put out a vaccine to the public that's supposed to help everyone? Since when is Esau wanting to help everyone? That don't add up. That's just in his that's just in, in, in his system. So you can't trust these vaccines. You don't you don't know what these doctors is pumping in you. And when the and when the negative truth about these vaccines come out, which they do, people people lose their minds. But you should have put that into t- together at first. When kids was getting autism at a higher rate because of vaccines, they should have put their people should have thought about that before. But with that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar, Kadash, and Shalom.